Kid Mario 95 here bringing you another episode. In today's episode, guys, we got a technical analysis on Ignis here. For those of you that don't know what Ignis is, because it's relatively new, I believe it was added in January. It's pretty much the first child chain from Ardor or Ardor, I believe is how you say it. Um, let's really quick. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ardor. See where they're at. Currently sitting at the number 46 spot, up 3% for the day, sitting at 42 cents. So. Uh, Ignis here guys is the first child chain of Ardor. Ardor is a blockchain as a service platform that pretty much evolved from the NXT uh, crypto which would be here. So it's NXT, Ardor and then um, Ignis and pretty much Ardor's unique parent child chain uh, architecture enables three um, fundamental advantages. So Ignis is the first child chain of Ardor. And um, the three fundamental advantages that pretty much is being provided through the Ardor ne uh, network is reducing blockchain blow, providing multiple transaction tokens, and also hosting ready-to-use interconnected blockchains. So some of you may be asking, let's go back to Ignis here, um, why is Ignis needed? Um, Ardor pretty much has, can, you can have multiple child chains on Ardor, but Ignis is actually going to be the only child chain that um, has no restrictions. Other than that, users will be able to um, add or um, control their restrictions. Um, in short, though, Ignis is pretty much the entry point to the Ardor platform. Ignis is going to be uh, used for day-to-day -day, day -to -day transactions, sorry, while um, Ardor is going to be using more for the security platform. But this is just my personal understanding, guys. The white paper was pretty simple, but the website's kind of funny, so it kind of took me a little bit of time do some research really quick though guys before we look take a look at the website let's go ahead and run through the market cap here uh market cap sitting at 433 billion today's volume 15 billion yeah billion sorry that yeah billion billion bitcoin dominance 37.9 billion looks like we're recovering a little bit guys bitcoin up almost like a quarter percent sitting at 9750 uh ethereum up two percent sitting at 850 ripple sitting at 95 cents up half a percent bitcoin cash sitting at a dollar 76 litecoin at eight percent Earlier, Charlie Lee tweeted that uh, we probably won't be seeing an Ethereum Bitcoin uh, flipping, but we are going to be seeing a Litecoin Bitcoin flipping. Um, a lot of people are saying Bitcoin Cash is going to be uh, pretty much delisted and just heading out now that they have uh, SegWit pretty much implemented. So there's no you know reason to have Bitcoin Cash when Bitcoin's fees are already lower than Bitcoin and it's already a lot faster. But who knows, guys? We'll see. Cardano up 8% sitting at $0.34. Cents. Neo up 2% sitting at almost a dollar or 120, sorry. Lumens up 2% sitting at 36 cents. Don't forget guys, today is actually the last day to uh, participate in the Stellar Lumen giveaway that I'll be doing tomorrow morning. I'll be picking a winner tonight around midnight, maybe around an hour after midnight, just so I can kind of let all the um, participants, uh, you know, their comments show up. Um, other than that guys, pretty much the way you're gonna be able to participate is make sure you are subscribed. You do have your post notifications turned on and you give not only this video but the Stellar Lumen video a like. A lot of people a lot of you are only commenting down your address below. You're not giving the video a like or you're not even subscribed. Uh, and so you won't be eligible for the lumens. I will I am checking, you know, that you have all three. But you know, it's it's easy guys, you know, you guys are supporting me, I'm supporting you guys, thank you. I owed up five and a half percent, sitting at a dollar eighty four. Uh, Dash up one percent, Monero up four percent, sitting at two eighty three. Nem down 0.12, VeChain up 7, almost up to $6. But really quick though, guys, let's go ahead and run through the website here. So, website, not going to lie, kind of boring. You know, you just look. Ignis distribution, the total amount of Ignis coins issued will be equal to half the amount of the NXT coins existing on the NXT blockchain at the time of the Ardor Genesis snapshot, which I believe was, what was it? Max supply is $999 million. Really quick though, guys. Market cap sitting at 160 million. Today's volume 2.8 million. Circulating supply 761 million. Total supply 999 million. Major exchanges here, guys. AEX, Bitrex, Bitcoin Indonesia, Upbit, AEX again, and Hit BTC. So as you can tell, we're not on a lot of exchanges, guys. This coin is relatively new, so definitely expect it to get added to other exchanges. We're only sitting at 21 cents right now, sitting at about 2,174 satoshis, up, up also 2 percent. Let's go ahead and look at some price action that you guys came here for. Daily guys, not gonna lie, looking a little scary. Just a second. Go ahead and I know you guys see it, so I might as well draw it. Bounce one, two, three. However, you know, we could still be heading down. 
The Daily Show is this. This is what The Daily Show is. I'm kind of expecting us to still drop a little bit. Possibly down to about 9,000. Maybe even as low as 8,500 and then bounce towards the upside. But if we go ahead and take a look at the 4-hour, guys. The 4-hour actually looks that we may have found support. Let me go ahead. Oops. Go back to my little arrows here. And delete this. So we can get a better look. So we bounced off 9,300, you know, showed a little bit of resistance. Now we're showing more resistance. This is the four hour. This candle closes in about 30 minutes. Um, I'm not looking to buy any Bitcoin yet. However, if you do look, last time we were at this price, we definitely had a nice run from 9,500 all the way up to about 11,775. Yeah, 11, so we could be expecting the same thing here, guys. If you go ahead and look at the uh, our stochastic indicator down here. You can definitely tell it looks like you know something it's about to pinch however I wouldn't look to add to my positions just yet what I'd be waiting for is let me go ahead and take out my paintbrush is I'm waiting for this high to beat this high right here so perform a higher high come back down and then bounce again if we find support here let me go ahead hopefully this line holds I know sometimes when I pull on my Bitcoin charts um, whatever my analysis I draw disappears but what I'm kind of expecting here is a jump from about 9,600 all the way up to about 10,000 small drop to about 9,800 maybe 9,750 and then we head towards the upside if not guys definitely expect Bitcoin to make a, a, a bigger retracement we could be dropping all the way down with the four hours showing me here guys personally remember it's just my personal opinion not a financial advisor is we could be dropping as low as 6,400 and then shoot towards the upside and that would give us a nice little double bottom here. But this isn't big. Remember, guys, it's just my personal opinion. But we're not here for Bitcoin today, even though we really are. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum really quick. Ethereum, you know, kind of, I'm expecting it to consolidate here for a bit. Uh, but I definitely see a nice little W here for performing. Oops. Nice little W here. So this is what I'm expecting. Let's go ahead and take a look at Litecoin here. Litecoin definitely, so this is why I like Litecoin guys, and I've said it before, it's chart is just a lot cleaner to me. Uh, definitely looks like we've hold here, bounce one, bounce two, bounce three, looks like this is our fourth bounce. However, again, I'm not looking to add to my position until we get a break and close above 235. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the four hours, see what the four hours shows us. Oh look, four hour actually shows us a nice little whammy double bottom. This would be bottom one, this would be bottom two. So actually, I would add to my Litecoin position after this video. Um, this definitely looks promising. Nice little W forming. I don't know if you guys see it. But maybe now you do. Uh, definitely going to be adding to my position after this video. And then definitely once we get a break in and close above two, uh, 225 here, definitely going to be adding to my position on that as well. But you guys came here for some Ignis, uh, BTC, uh, technical analysis here, guys. Ignis, Bitcoin, Bitrix is the broker, trading is the platform we're using. So we're on the four hour here, guys, because this coin is still relatively new. and We don't have too much information, as you can tell. Uh, we were added to Bitrix on the f January 30th, and today is only February 25th, so it's barely going to be a month. So this is what the four hour shows us, guys. Price action might be rel 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 relatively still a little, uh, you know, it's too early, in my opinion. But you can still definitely make some short-term uh, trades on this. Let's go ahead and look at the price action, see what it shows us. So a lot of so we've we've been in a bear market since because since we got added to any exchanges, you know it was just a bad month for crypto. So it's not this coin's fault at all. Uh, major resistance here at three thousand one hundred, three thousand, two thousand seven hundred and fifty. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the two thousand seven hundred. This is two thousand eight hundred, two thousand five hundred as well, two thousand three hundred, two thousand two hundred, two thousand one hundred. So. Something I don't know if you guys noticed that I was when I was re repeating or saying those resistance, all of those were flat, you know, 32, 31, 3,000, 2,500. Those are all psychological resistance, guys, and that's kind of what the market just, you know, been playing. People like even numbers. That's why people sell and buy at those numbers. So earlier this morning, guys, I was supposed to make the video, but I actually woke up late, so I didn't get time to. Major support here, guys. Looks at 2,000, bounce once, twice, three, four times, couple, multiple times. Nice. Whoa. 
fucking mouth, man. Follow bro. What is that? Sorry about that, guys. Apparently, my roommate's phone is connected to this Bluetooth light bulb in this studio that we built. So what was playing was a video he was watching, but I'm just kind of like mind blown. I didn't know this light bulb was Bluetooth, so that's kind of weird. <laughs> but anyway, sorry about that. Um, drew this analysis earlier, bounced once, twice, three, four times here, guys. Uh, it looks like we were cons consolidating in this nice little tight zone. Looks like, however, we definitely uh, broke and closed above it, and we're currently coming down to test it for support. This is the four hour there, guys. Momentum still looking to head down. Nice little double top down here. So I would not add to my position yet. Oh, let me go, ahead, go back and explain what happened here. So this is a bull trap, and the reason I'm calling this a bull trap is because it was a nice little fake out. We have a nice little channel here. If you guys see, this channel is respected everywhere except for here. Look down here, respected. Came down here. Also respected even down here. It's just, you know, here. But the reason I'm saying it's a bull trap is because, check it out, a lot of people probably did. Once they saw this candle, they started buying, 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 buying. And then they saw this, you know, indecision, oh, you know, of course, because they're like, you know, it's, it's momentum switching from the bears to the bulls. So it was just kind of people uh, taking profits or, you know, cutting losses and getting into a new position. However, if you tell, if you can see here, this wick came lower than this wick. So this is a lower low. And if you look at this candle, this actually formed an even lower low. And we're already in a downtrend, guys. You know, we haven't been in an uptrend. So when I see wicks like this, and then I see what I'm expecting is these wicks to be filled. So I, you know, seeing all this, you would definitely expect, you know, resistance, resistance, resistance. I'm expecting a hard sell here. We, we had trouble here. Over here, we, you know, we might, uh, we're a little bit of trouble here. What I'm trying to explain to you guys is when you guys see wicks and momentum is, def is heading in, in, you know, up or down, expect those wicks to be filled. So I was expecting this wick to be filled, and it came down. Since then, came back down, respected the little uh, channel again, and it looks like we broke out. However, price still looking to head down. Let's go ahead and look at the one hour. I hope that made sense. If not, I'm gonna have to make a video kind of explaining how wick fills work. I learned that from uh, this forex group called the Forex Family. So if you're looking to trade forex, guys, those are the guys to go to. Check them out on Instagram. But resistance still, you know, still looking like we're heading down. What I'm expecting here from Ignis to Bitcoin is a drop possibly all the way to about 2,000 and then head towards the upside. If not, no, this can is closed in 24 minutes. Yeah, I'm expecting this to come down to about 2,000 and then head towards the upside. However, guys, um, I would not be add, if you know, if this is a coin you're looking to get into or buying, I would not add or buy into this coin until we have major support on the daily and the reason I'm saying daily is because this candle is very, very new. Or no, I'm sorry, not this candle. Oops. This uh, coin is very, very new. So uh, these smaller time frames aren't, you know, for now. Excuse me. I was burping. These smaller time frames, in my opinion, personal opinion, work for short-term trades. I use the bigger time frames. Well, you can tell here on the daily. See, momentum definitely is starting to shift towards the upside. So if we get a nice little engulfing here, you probably could be adding to your position. Uh, but that's just my personal opinion. I see this coin coming back up to about 3,400 here, guys, towards the end of 2018. But this is just my personal opinion, remember, not a financial advisor. Pretty much it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on post notifications. New video every single day. You guys already know. Sorry this video was so long. I know I started rambling a lot. But make sure you guys are subscribed. Turn on post notifications. Give the Stellar Lumen video a like. Give this video a like. And get ready for that Stellar Lumen video. Or, I'm sorry, giveaway. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.